Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look with Natasha, Natasha, Denona's Lilia palette. So they did have this on sale, um, during, I guess like their summer sale, uh, in that, uh, I am going to try and use my reusable shadow guards that is from, uh, Sephora collection. So they are kind of like sticky. You just kind of place in them. Ooh, it does feel weird. <laughs> so it has a little film on both sides. I don't know. It just feels funny. So, so funny. So with the palette, like, oh, it has like their names this way. So I don't mind that. It's better than them being on the back. So I'm going to start with New Mauve. Nude Mauve. So just going in with a blending brush. There's definitely like a lot of kick up when I go. But... That doesn't bother me so much if like you swirl your brush and the product comes up like just dab then i care how easy it is to use it's definitely a nice kind of color to blend right a nice transition shade Going in with a more tightly packed blending brush, I'm going to go into Nude Fino. Keeping this closer to my outer crease. Using that same brush, I'm going to go into Mayara, which is that little middle shade. I'm really deep in out my outer corner. Then with a little tart shape tape, I'm just going to kind of cut out my crease a little. So I don't like for me personally, I don't like to go that high with my cut crease, but I do find kind of just putting some of that concealer really just makes the color pop underneath. So I'm going to go into Juna, that nice light shimmer shade and start to pack it on close to the inner going in with magenta sorry Magenic. Magenic. I'm just going to take that color and start to bring it back.
that's going in with Vivid. I'm going to kind of blend that outer corner with it. going into Layla, Ooh, taking my nail into it, uh, I'm just going to deepen that outer corner. This is where I find these, like, I don't know. I feel like this palette didn't really, yeah, I guess there's some fallout. But I find them, like, hard to, like, kind of, like, it's not going to give you kind of, like, that nice line. I don't know how I feel about these. But let's complete the other side. Just kind of taking off my guards like I think there's still like a pull to them so I think personally I would use like an eye mask over these because it just made it hard to like blink and that like not bad for them being like ten dollars but I rather do an eye mask and like kind of condition underneath and I feel like it would kind of take up product because I see my dead skin on it, which is very gross. And then I feel like it's just kind of lacking. Like I would like a light, kind of lighter nude shade with it. So I am just going to kind of take that pink shade and blend it out on my lower crease or my lower lash line. Going in with a little bit. Taking in a little bit on my lower lash line and then blending out. So like the shadow guards are going to protect you from fallout. I think if you're putting your um, foundation underneath, it's going to pull it up or concealer. Because it pulled up my dead skin. It's definitely going to pull up your makeup. So the fact that it's pulling up my dead skin Probably not really going to use it that often. Just kind of taking a nude shade. I'm just going to kind of buff out that crease.
So like, I don't know. I'm not mad at it, but for like, so like I probably paid like $107 because it was like, uh, like it was on sale and then they had a additional sale on top of it. I do think like, like not bad eyeshadows. I just think for the price, I would want like a little bit more pigmentation to it. So I definitely feel like with De Natasha Denona, their little palettes work just like a little bit. Like they're maybe like a nicer price point. Cause I feel like yes, the eyeshadows are big in there, but how often I'm going to use it just kind of going into Lamino just to kind of add that brightness to my inner corner. I do think this palette, um, the Lila palette is really going to kind of give you like, I feel like it's a little bit of like butterfly colors, right? So, um, like you would have to like these colors for just like the price point to get like 15 shadows, Meh. right? Like, I do find like their pigmentation wasn't maybe what I was wanting from them. I wanted them to be like really nice, bright and vibrant and you know, they're not bad. They're just not that great. They're not wowing for the price tag of it. Um, so thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.